Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies, who today are taking on Exeter City. Uh, it's a college town, Exeter. And we're going to beat them. We're going to humiliate them. We are going to lay our opponents before us, and we are going to slaughter them. I don't want to exaggerate, but they will emerge from this experience feeling like they should probably just retire. Uh, we're a little bit tired, and uh, we're starting our B team today because uh, we've got a big game coming up against Newcastle in the FA Cup, Premier, Premier League side Newcastle um, in the FA Cup. We've had a pretty favorable FA Cup draw since, the, uh, since our stunning victory over Liverpool Football Club. Uh, we came from behind against QPR, and um, now we're going to have to play Newcastle. It's bad, but it could be worse. So, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, a topic, a Project for Awesome topic suggested by Project for Awesome donor Dylan. Um, a great topic uh, that is of much interest to me, um, how to relieve and treat uh, depression. Um, so, I've lived with depression at various times in my life. Oh my gosh, did you see that run from St. Louis? The patron saint of lost! Oh! St. Louis. St. Luce, that could have been better. That could have been better since you were completely away. It's disappointing there. Um, but yeah, I've lived with depression at various points in my life and um, I've been, for long stretches of my adult life, um, have been, uh, like, have had medication and I've been in therapy for since, well, for almost like 13 years now. So, um yeah, I can talk a little bit about that. I mean, I think, you know, the studies are pretty, um, there, there's pretty good studies around depression. Um, and th those studies do indicate that there are, there are two treatments that work, um, cognitive behavioral therapy and uh, medication, and that they work best when they're used together. Um, this is particularly true when it comes to treating, like, uh, acute depression. The problem is it's really hard really, really hard, I don't, I don't want to minimize how hard it is to get to the point where you're actually taking medication and you're on, the medication works and you're seeing a therapist and the therapy works. Um, and getting to that point is especially hard when you're depressed because it's really freaking hard to do anything, um, let alone like put up with the, uh, all the times when the therapy you know isn't working right or the medication isn't right or the side effects are too much to take or whatever it is like it's a really difficult disease to to treat and it's you know and that's particularly problematic for people who are depressed because you know it, it, it it's just physically oh john green you're a finisher you're better than that it was a great cut let's look again at the cut really good oh that was a great cut but then he just i think Maybe uh, he just tried to do a little too much, a little too fast. Um, you know, like in my own in my own life with depression, a lot of times I I I, I can't even uh, you know like engage in like basic social tasks. Um, you know, like uh, calling someone on the on the phone or, or or responding to a phone call. Let alone like going through the kind of um, activism that's necessary to s schedule with a therapist or to go see my doctor and talk about the fact that my medication doesn't seem to be working or whatever it is. So I think um, the, that's the biggest or the sort of the first hurdle, not, not the only hurdle certainly, but um, you, have to, you have to do that and you have to do it with the knowledge that it, it, it can work. Um, and that's, that's the number one thing that I would say. People get better um and the fact that other people have gotten better is an indication that you too can get better it is not an easy disease to treat it is not uh it is not uncomplicated it is not you know without its uh it, it it can it can be a bit of a moving target when it comes to treating depression i think but um it is it is possible and like that's really important because one of the things that I struggle with at least is that feeling of hopelessness. Like, well, what's the point of doing this anyway? Because it won't work because nothing's ever worked because, you know, and that's obviously that's the depressed mind talking. Um, you know, that same mind that tells you like, oh, uh, what's the point of, of doing anything because everything's going to come to nothing anyway, so I'm just going to do nothing. Um, wh you know, I've, I've had that thought more times than I'd care to admit. Um, and I've, you know, I've had to like cycle through those obsessive thinking patterns about like, you know, you're, 
uh, you know, yeah, like, like basically the this is going to be forever thinking pattern um, is what, you know, the, the famous viral video, David After Dentist. Um, there's this seven-year-old kid. His name is David. Uh, he goes to the dentist, um, and he gets very intoxicated from the drugs that they give him. And afterwards, his dad films him as he asks a lot of questions about what's going on with his anesthesia because he's clearly very confused. And at one point, David says, is this going to be forever? Um, my one of the things I really I really struggle with another nil nil halftime draw. What is our problem, Meredith? Um, another thing I really struggle with is is that feeling of like, well, this is going to be forever, and um, there's nothing that I can do to treat it, and I'm just going to have to, and this is it. This is my life forever. Um, that's wrong. Uh, that's like a that's 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 a that's your crazy brain talking. Um, but it is a really powerful idea. Um, and I certainly like, yeah, I, I, I struggle, I struggle with that still. Um, but so, I mean, yeah, what I would say is it's not going to be forever. It doesn't have to be forever. Uh, and, um, you don't know what the future looks like. All we know is that this too shall pass both the good and the bad. And so, uh, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't tell forever what's going to be forever, uh, because you don't know. You know, you don't... Oh, no! It's a disaster! He used to be a swoodly pooper, I think. Sir Combe. Anyway, do you see how ugly Ryan Gosling's hair is? This is a disaster. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because we're going to win League 2, but I'd like to finish the season undefeated. Exeter City. How are we losing to Exeter City, Meredith? This is no way to prepare for Newcastle. This is, this is worrisome. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Boise, Boise. Okay, everybody stay calm. Nice through ball. Go! Oh, you've got to finish. Oh, other John Green with the fantastic vision to... Oh, I was offside anyway. With the fantastic vision to pass, but then it all comes to nothing like so much effort in this world. Um... Yeah, so I think, you know, y y like, I I'm a big believer in, like, paying attention to the science and, like, what the, what the randomized control trials say. And they say pretty clearly, um, get behavioral therapy, you know, and that, I mean, like, me being able to say, like, this is not going to be forever. Are we seriously going to go down two by two? Me being able to say this is not going to last forever is a direct result of, of behavioral therapy. Like, I, that's literally a tool that I learned in, in therapy. Um, and there are a lot of them, but that's, that's, that's the biggest one for me. Um, and then like, like learning how to like sh kind of shut down that obsessive thinking spiral that, uh, that, that's, you know, really takes you over. Um, and I'm not saying I can do that a hundred percent of the time, but I can do it enough that I can manage my, you know, I can manage my life. Um, and I can still have, you know, joy in my life and stuff. So, um, yeah, and I, I, as far as the medication goes, like, uh, so many people have been like, oh, you won't be able to write, and, like, that, that's just not true. I just don't buy that at all. Like, I think, like, treating an illness doesn't make you a bad writer. Oh! John Green! John Green! Uh, no, let's go! Let's go score another goal, boys! It's not enough to get one. All right, I'm, I'm worried about... Unfortunately, I'm going to need to take out John Green, Nay Bennett now, because I need him to start against... Um, oh, we have nobody. Look, this is just an exhausted team. I'm going to do something a little unusual, Meredith. I'm going to bring on Borg Warner, um, Warner Chilcott, uh, as our... Uh, I'm going to put him um, in goal. No, 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 no. I need Seb Brown to be... I'm going to put... I'm going to switch him out with Hell's Pels. No, I don't know Hell's Pels. Let's pitch him out with... Uh, yeah, 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 Bamba. All right, there we go. Nice... Nothing like putting your backup goalkeeper in the center of midfield um, as a statement about your intention to win the game. There he is. I know he's going to be great at this. Um, but we just, as you can see, the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies need players. We need them desperately. Um, and there he is on the ball. Let's see how he is. Oh, he's, he's, he's very bad. Wow. He's a slowpoke. He's about, I would say, my skill level. Um, if you put me in FIFA... I might be about Warner Chilcott level. Get to the ball! Get the... Oh, that's frustrating. All right. Um, yeah, so 
it, but you, you just like I, I think you have to have faith in the science and then I, I, I don't buy any of those arguments that, like it's going to make you a less creative person or whatever that hasn't been my experience at all there are many times in my life when I haven't been able to write anything because of my depression um, and you know when I've been on medication I've found that I've been able to write much much better so I, I, I just don't I just don't buy that argument um, you know I might be wrong of course but that's my that's my experience what what was there a penalty was there a, have I been penalized? What was I penalized for, being such a great player? Being so good looking? I don't understand. All right, anyway, we're here in the 80th minute and uh, we gotta find a way to win. So that's, I, yeah, I mean, that's all I can say to encourage you. And then the last thing that I would say is that if you have any, you know, suicidal ideation, any kind of like thoughts of suicide, uh, take that seriously. Um, you know, it, it, it's not, it, it doesn't necessarily, you know, like, not, I'm not going to say that it necessarily means that it's a, a life-threatening emergency, but it, it can, and it's worth taking seriously. I'm not, I'm not a way to celebrate this goal because that's too important. And if you Google suicide, um, you, uh, the first result will take you to the National Suicide Hotline Center, uh, and you can always call. Now, um, now that we have done that, I would just like to announce that in the 85th minute, uh, after being down 1-0, the uh, having substituted our, our goalkeeper out uh, for our backup goalkeeper, uh, we suddenly find ourselves uh, in a situation where we're crossing a ball into the box, and who should meet at the end of that cross but tiny little Yabamba? And what should he do other than head it in so that we can complete our comeback? Ya, 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 bamba. Ya, 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 bamba. Just score a goal. Just score a goal. Just score a goal. Ya, ya, bamba. Oh, I thought he was going to do it again. I thought he was going to do it again, but he didn't. That would have been amazing. I could have gone straight into like four verses of it. Oh. Yeah, so I just lost a, I, I lost a um, acquaintance and colleague to, uh, to suicide recently. And um, sorry, to, sorry to change uh, voice so dramatically, but I was just thinking about Ned. Um, and uh, it's, phew, it sucks. And like, you got to. You got to fight it. I know that it's hard. I know that it sucks, but you have to. So that's all I'd say. Um, but I am pleased that the wind Oh, we're so tired. Look at that. Who's, who's, whose leg is dragging? Who's hurt? Somebody's hurt. Anyway, we'll get it fixed up. We'll get everybody fixed up and rested up for the Newcastle game. Congratulations to the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's coming from behind for the second time in the last few weeks. Showing some spirit, showing some, some, uh, some fight. I like it. I like it. Sorry, Exeter City, but you got Wimbley Wombly. Oh, it's Frampton comes alive who's hurt. That's worrisome. Best wishes.